Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Apex Pixel, and this is my one series. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. By the title and thumbnail of this video, obviously some exhaust work has been done, and I don't think that's really saying much because if you just look at the status of my shirt, it's pretty evident that I've been under the car for the last three hours. But yes, the exhaust is on, and I was actually kind of like super excited to get into the process and start wrenching on the car, and I had a buddy of mine actually helping me in a shop. So I didn't actually film an intro for this video. So that's what this is. The exhaust is going on the car today. You guys are gonna see some clips that I filmed of the process underneath. Maybe I'll do like a little voiceover. Otherwise, I would say it was a pretty straightforward process. We obviously went with the Burke Technologies race exhaust, which goes basically from the cats on the downpipe all the way back to the exhaust tips at the end of the car. So it's a pretty full exhaust and I've driven the car now for, I don't know, 20 minutes, and it sounds incredible, guys. Uh, it's perfect, and I would say it's like the perfect daily setup because it's loud and aggressive, but at the same time, should be street legal. I still have cats in my downpipes, and I don't actually see a need to pull them out at this point anymore because it's a legal setup, and it sounds amazing. So we'll see. Um, of course, that's gonna be a moving target, kind of wherever, but for the time being, car sounds amazing. I'm gonna let you guys watch the clips and I'll be back with you guys at the end of the video. Welcome back to the channel and today is pretty uh, exciting for me because we have officially broken ground on the one series exhaust so um, yeah it's kind of a cool moment for me to see the car up on the lift and like officially begin the process of modifying this car uh, we got a lot of stuff I have planned to do to it but this is the beginning so come along we're gonna try and figure out how to put an exhaust on a one series together and hopefully it goes smoothly and uh, yeah it's never easy to find what you want And if you should find it Don't dare to let go if you hold on tight Promise you'll be alright shop back on full but new exhaust is there old exhaust is there look at that we actually were able to get it out took a little bit more convincing than we were expecting uh, but this is obviously the old exhaust we have the muffler here and then not exactly sure what this bit is but a lot of unnecessary sound deadening uh, whereas the new one will have resonating tabers and that's it but we got it out it looks pretty cool under here no exhaust of course you can see that's the downpipe uh, all the way back, and it's empty. So exhaust is out. Plan is to slot the other one in. Should be hopefully an easier process going in than coming out. Uh, LOL, that's kind of what she said. I don't know. But yeah, progress is good. Shout out, Steven. You're absolutely a homie for this because there's no shot I was doing this by myself. Um, and I figure since we're in this shop real quick, take a look at what we've got behind me. Not too shabby, and one more here for y'all. Hell yeah. All right, so let's get chomping away, putting the new exhaust in. Let's go.
cool. I'll, I'll do I'll like a proper intro or outro in a bit. But dude, it sounds really good. This is the big test too. Is like once the whatever the cold start thing is yeah. on, like how it still sounds. The stupid BMW two-step cold start drop. It, it smells good too. <laughs> it sounds super aggressive just sitting here. I actually like the silver tips. It's not overly loud. Not even close. I feel like it'll be a lot louder driving though compared driving. to sitting. Yeah, I agree. Cool. And the behind the camera, thanks Steven and Sam for letting me use the <laughs> shop, but Steven really for wrenching nice. away. Ah, uh, my guy. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Somewhat. I wouldn't have died. Oh my god, it sounds good though. Yeah, I think we're good. Jeez. All right. Well, I'll round out the video at some passing, point. Passing her back on. But grad, gracias, senor. Uh, yeah. It sounds so good. It does. Yes. <laughs> Reaction is good. Approved. Approved. Wow. Fellow one series owner approved. Yes. Guys, the exhaust is in. I'm driving home. I can't contain myself right now. It sounds so good. Just listen to this, ready? Ah, it's like the perfect amount. It's like the perfect amount of like aggressive, loud, but still like in a clean, super clean, like enjoyable way. Oh God, and it like, it totally accentuates the, the best tone of this engine. It's got that like flat, ah, uh, I don't even know how to describe, I'm not like a musician or anything, but it's like a, such a, like a, a balanced harmony or something with all the cylinders just, totally changes this car's dynamic, like a, a trillion percent. Um, and it's to the point where like, this car is technically, street legal i think right it still has its cats in it uh the only thing i've really removed is a a muffler and as far as sound goes i don't think it's above the 95 decibels so i think this car is completely street legal the way it is and it's perfect like it sounds so good oh my god all right so the only other thing i think is like like really egging me on on the bucket list is the exhaust or no the exhaust is done Ooh is the, uh, the suspension at this point. Once the suspension gets dialed in, I think we're there. All right, I need to figure out where I'm going. All right, so there you've seen it. The exhaust is officially on the car. Uh, pretty effortless process, I would say. 
Actually, I wouldn't say that. We struggled with a couple of things, but otherwise, pretty simple. Unbolt some stuff, take the old exhaust out, plop the new exhaust in. You pretty much use the same bolts, uh, either that they supply or the ones that were already on the car in the first place. Uh, and then you're done. Um, and I think the difference speaks for itself. It's amazing what you can do with uh, a thousand bucks, some pipes, and a little bit of time wrenching. So uh, I definitely think it turned out pretty good, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, I guess at this point, you've only seen a couple of quick rips, and that's because I'm purposefully leaving out any like, like in-depth exhaust audio clips because I have plans to do a second video. I already recorded base audio clips of the car when it was stock, so I have pretty much all of my recording levels set the same and the plan is to do the exact same test but with this exhaust to see the difference between one over the other um, so yeah scientific video on the difference in sound coming soon but for the time being it's not only a pretty car to look at now but it sounds good too so I'm super excited super happy probably gonna be ripping this thing in the canyons quite a bit uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder to be discreet with the car but I think that's a price I'm willing to pay I also almost just walked away there without thanking Samantha Tan and Steven, Steven Racing. Uh, thanks so much for getting out of the car and wrenching on it with me. I seriously would not have been able to make the car's exhaust sound and actually function uh, to the same degree. So thanks so much for wrenching on the car with me. Uh, and also thanks Sam for letting me use your lift and tools at the shop. But either way, that is officially it for today's video. If you guys are interested in seeing more like this or you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I think it helps me out, although I don't know really what I'm doing on this YouTube thing anyway. Um, but yeah, if you guys are sticking around to monitor the progress of the build, might as well subscribe. Exhaust is on the car. We got suspension possibly coming soon. Um, and then a couple other bips and bobs here and there. So yeah, if you want to stay tuned on the process, definitely uh, subscribe and follow along. You can also see this car on Instagram at Apex Pixel, but no I and E in the second part of that. It's all on the screen. It's also in the description below and you can see some of my photos that I take on my photography account also on Instagram. But without further ado, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and yeah, I'm gonna go for a drive and so should you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.